Welcome to Off Grid with Dave and Sonia. I'm Dave. Today we're going to determine if size matters for heaters. So does size matter? All seven of these heaters are 1500 watt heaters. So there's some big ones, some small ones. Some have more safety controls than others. So pretty much it comes down to the accessories. What, what are all the other advantages? So small heaters might have to fit under your desk. Tall heaters might have bigger fans on them to fill up the room quicker. Uh, some of them have fans, some of them don't. Some have safety features, some don't. Some have digital thermostats, some don't. So it depends on what you like. So for me, I like this little guy here. It's 1500 watt, just like the rest of them. It has a digital temperature readout. It has a ground fault cord on it. It's got a one hour timer button, so I can just press it for one hour, like if I'm taking a bath or in the shower. Just wanna take the chill off the room, I can press it for one hour, don't have to worry about turning it off. It's got a tip sensor, you can hear it. So if it tips, it shuts off. Uh, it's got a timer control, so if you wanna run it for just 10 hours, you can set the timer. And it has a high and low in this mode button you can select. So every one of these heaters has six, 16 gauge cord. So the cords technically should be 14 gauge. So when you run them you, and you run them on high, they're gonna get hot. So for me, especially in the trailer, off grid with the battery, it's gonna draw a lot of power, but because I don't want it to get too hot and burn anything up, I like running the heaters on low or medium. So we're gonna test the wattage of this guy here, and we'll see how much power it uses on low for one hour, and we'll see how long your system can run this unit. So let's hit the reset button. Let's reset. And then on the heater, if I press the one hour button, that'll be full power. So it'll be, although this says 1500 watts, it's only uses 1250 watts, but that would be for the full 1250. So I don't want to go that high during this experiment. So we'll hit the mode here. That's a full sun. So that's full power. We get the sun, it's half power. I can change the temperature here. I can also set the time. It's in minutes, it's in hours. We do one hour and we'll leave the temperature up high. I can go up to 99, I can go down to 42. So this also is good if you just need to stay above freezing. So a lot of heaters don't go down that low but this one does but I'll leave it at 86 so it stays running for the full hour let's see what we're using on the meter so far so we're using 647 watts at half power so the heater just turned off let's see we have one hour of elapsed time it would have cost 12 cents for that hour to run. And we use 0.64 kilowatt hours. So that's 640 watt hours. That's about what we said. Total was one hour. So in summary, an electric heater is probably one of the largest items you can plug in your house. So it's gonna draw a lot of power. It probably is also one of the most dangerous items to plug in also. So a heater can catch stuff on fire if it falls over, if your curtains get close to it. Um, so you need to be careful. It's not something you just plug in and forget. So I like to leave my heaters run on low so the cord doesn't get too hot. And I like to make sure I have enough safety features. So especially if they don't have all the safety features, I really make sure I keep an extra eye on them. Make sure that stuff's not going to get too hot that are near them. Other than that, I like this heater. It's got a lot of safety features. I have a link in the description below for it. It drew 640 watt hours. 
So that's a considerable amount. It's probably one of the highest items I've shown on Wattage Wednesday. And that's only at half power. So if I would have used the full full power, this unit draws, uh, it says 1500 on the label. I put a little tag in the bottom. So at high, it draws 1,270 watts. <clears throat> so that would have been 1,200 watt hours. So that would be a lot. <clears throat>